Miss in day ten data set. No. Do you like it? I'm not. But I found a couple of uh, tricks how to deal with it, and I want to show you here. Hey, my name is Gala. I am Looker Studio expert and the founder of Gailey Reports, where you can find some dashboard templates for marketing uh, and order some customization. Uh, let's back to our topic. I created sample dataset. We have, for example, Google Ads, Facebook Ads and LinkedIn Ads. And we want to calculate total cost. I did it in Google Sheets, but it could be any data source, it doesn't matter. Mm, you will not see any difference. So when, um, first of all, let's come back to Looker Studio. Uh, if uh, this is our main table, where we show all data that we have just it. And this is our second table where I will try to work with this and to find a way how can I calculate total cost. So when we have null, total cost will be null. Uh, sometimes when you use, for example, supermetrics as a data connector services, uh, you can select change null values to zero. And in this case, if we refresh, uh, cost will be counting normally, so we can see Google and LinkedIn, Facebook at zero, so total cost is calculating. But it's not always possible, sometimes we really have null that we cannot manage. So first option, if you can avoid nulls and uh, use zero instead uh, in your connectors or when you set up your database manually in Google Sheets. Uh, just use zero, it uh, will be e much easier for you to deal with that. But let's imagine, I don't have this data. Um, somewhere here is calculation correctly. Uh, we don't have this data, for example, like this. Uh, and we still need to calculate total sum. Google Sheets is calculating without any problem. But when we refresh our Looker Studio, we see that if data in one column is missing, the total sum will not be calculated. But uh, total summary is counting still. So, first option, uh, let's create how did I do total cost, first of all. It's easy. I created add metric. I created... Uh, Calculated fields. Oh my god, I cannot do it because when I'm recording a video. Uh, maybe I can, yeah, I can do it like this. So I have add field and I just add total cost, selected data type and uh, added here my fields. Easy. Uh, but we already know that we have null, so total, we can say cost one. If no, we can say even this. Um, and I will use formula if no. This is super easy formula. And uh, this formula has two fields, input expression and null result. So here we can use mm, next option. We can use Facebook ads. And if this field is null, change it to zero. This will be our option. And uh, if we press apply, you can see uh, resize column, fit to data. Okay, I want to make it in the center as well. So already cost if null, we already have zero here. And with this case, we can summarize total cost. So our formula, that our basic formula looks like Facebook plus Google, uh, Google plus LinkedIn. Uh, the, our improved formula will be if no Facebook, if no Google. Uh, if no LinkedIn. Apply. I can do a summary here. 
I can apply manually aggregation method. Yeah, because here's my small screen, I cannot see it. And I will change the, the type to currency, and it is euro. And when I change it to, uh, when I edit if null formula, I can see that now I can calculate total sum, and total sum will be different. You see, like 12,000 12, here and 13,000 in correct formula. And if we checked our Google Sheets, Mm, add a summary. Yeah, summary. It's thirteen thousand. So this is correct. And this is one option how we can calculate it. Uh, but I want to show you one more thing. Uh, we need to adjust our data set. And uh, it will be in a, a one more thing that I really like to use, and not that I like to use, but I use quite often, especially when you have um, when you have like campaign name, for example, campaign name, Facebook, um, campaign name, Google. And you have campaign name LinkedIn. LinkedIn. Uh, in this case, and we can say that, for example, I really like my campaign names in Facebook, and I think this is the truth. And uh, if campaign name in Facebook is empty, I can use campaign, I think, okay, and second important is Google campaign names or uh, otherwise in LinkedIn. But normally it's a bit um, abstract example, but what, but, but it, uh, the case usually is that we have like uh, campaign names database and in Google, for example, uh, people like manually change it, some campaign names. So we merge them by campaign ID. Um, but after that, we need to um, find a real campaign name. So it will be, okay, maybe it's not correct. It will be campaign name. Mm. Okay, let's call it like this. Campaign one. Um, it could be, can it be populated? Yes. Um, this is again an abstract example. So we have, um, sometimes we can have like different numbers here. Um, to say that here is three numbers, here is uh, four numbers, whatever. Mm. And sometimes this could be missing and sometimes could be missing like that. Let's update my data source and see what can we do in this case. Reconnect. Yeah, we have new fields, total cost, but okay, fine. Um, this is a currency, this is a currency, and this is currency. Total cost I don't need, it just like to compare. Uh, in this table we have Facebook, I think I just need to refer the page to have table works again. Show me. Okay, this is a bit weird. Okay, fine. What do we have here? We calculated our um, cost when some numbers are no and uh, now I copy this table again and let's add campaign names campaign name um, Facebook 
campaign name, Google campaign name. Oh, I did Facebook a campaign name LinkedIn. And here, for example, I just want to use cost if no. A resize column fit in, fit in data. And I need to find a correct, correct name, correct campaign name. And uh, for example, I really like my Facebook ads campaign name. And I think this is the truth. But I need to update this null to no, to campaign name. So if it is null, I want to use Google. And if it is null, I want to use LinkedIn. And uh, I can use the same formula as I used before, if null. But for dimension, instead of metrics, here at how it will look like. Campaign name. If null. So my first true is Facebook ads. And if Facebook ads is null, oh, not Facebook ads, a uh, campaign name Facebook. If it is null, uh, let's use campaign name Google. Apply. Uh, I can move this field to the top. And it really works when we have two columns. So we have two truths. If Facebook name is we have some value, we use this value. If it is no, we use value from Google Ads. But in our example, we have three platforms. And uh, in this case, when it both are no, we have like, have no here. So it is not correct. What we want to do, we can use, again, we can uh, use the same formula twice. And in this case, it will be if no, this formula is no we can use campaign name from linkedin and close and break and break it so we can use this kind of thing and in this case you can see that it works so we put one formula inside of another and we use just if null formula it is possible and it works and I used it sometimes. But there is another formula that can we use again uh, as well. It formula cost, uh, called call esque. Call uh, this formula works more or less the same as the if null formula. But here in this case, we can just type three fields in one formula instead of using the same formula twice campaign name Google and campaign name LinkedIn apply and result is the same so in this kind of, in this formula uh, we can use as many columns and values as we want uh, instead of if now this is a big difference between these two formulas so if now for two and call ask for several columns returns the first non-missing value from found in the list of fields uh, field or expression so we can change it to zero for example no it will not work it will not work so we cannot change it to zero as we did with uh, if no, so it is another difference between two formulas. So there we can just type no. That it, it, uh, but let's type um, something something like that. Something like that. If I type like text field, it will work. Okay. Sorry, with null it was a bad example because null is a number and uh, this is a dimension. It's text fields. So that was the reason of error. If we add here text and field, it will work. But for our case, we need we need campaign LinkedIn. That's it. What I want to say. Actually, you can use always call escape call ask function instead of if null. I'm not sure. Like from 
what is better which you can use but i don't know uh, like i think i used to it if not when i have two fields and if i have more than two options i like to use call ask function um i think that is it and we observed how to work with if nulls if null we in uh, our metrics so we can use if null function to summarize and uh, yeah i think in this example if null it's more relevant to use this if null function because we just change it to zero if our metric is zero but for dimensions i think it makes sense to use this function call ask because it just i think makes your code easier and uh, less formulas that is it let me know if you understand the point if you like this video or if you don't like this video let me know as well um, how do we work with missing data i'm curious to know how to you deal with that if you like i'm always happy to learn new tips and tricks Hope you like this video don't forget that i have online store on my website where you can find some ready templates in looker studio for marketing and sales i have really nice cohort templates return customer analysis and some specific um, dashboard for paid ads uh, recently i launched really great uh, google ads template so check it out let me know if you have questions and talk to you soon.